Hi, I hope you're doing well. My name is Melissa, and today I am going to teach you some very basic Japanese phrases. I really hope you enjoy, and let's get right to it. So, the very first thing you want to learn is how to greet. And just like English or any other languages, in Japanese, there are different greetings depending on the time of the day. Okay. So, when you meet someone in the morning, you would say good morning. And good morning in Japanese, it's ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Okay, I'm going to write it down for you. Okay, uh, you can see, there we go. So it's Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu means good morning. Okay, and this is quite a polite way of saying good morning. So you would probably use this when you are speaking to your teacher or your boss or strangers. So, if you want to make it sound more casual or more friendly, you can actually drop this last half of the phrase, gozaimasu, and you can simply say, ohayou. Ohayou. Okay? So when you are talking to your friends, your family, or someone that is close to you, it is better to use ohayo rather than ohayo gozaimasu. Okay? So, do you want to repeat after me? Let's start with the, the polite version. Ohayo gozaimasu. Okay. Good. Once again, Ohayo gozaimasu. Very good. Let's do the casual version. Ohayo. Okay. Once more, Ohayo. Very good. So let's move on to our next phrase. If you meet someone in the daytime, you would probably say hello. And hello in Japanese, it's konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. And I'm going to write it down for you again. See, okay. So it's konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Okay. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. And this konnichiwa, there are no polite or casual ways to say it. It's just konnichiwa. And you can use it 
um, to your friends, family, or your boss or teacher. It doesn't matter. You can use konnichiwa to pretty much anyone. Okay, so do you want to repeat after me? Konnichiwa. Good. Once more. Konnichiwa. Very good. So it really depends, but I would personally start using konnichiwa maybe around 11 a.m. or so because ohayou gozaimasu it literally means it's early and I don't think 11 a.m. is that early so I would start saying konnichiwa instead of ohayou gozaimasu around that time but um, I don't think you have to overthink about it, okay? Just remember that hello is konnichiwa. Okay, so let's move on to our next phrase, which is when you meet someone in the evening, you would say good evening, good evening. And good evening in Japanese, it's konbanwa. Konbanwa. Okay, let me write it down for you. can see it's konbanwa 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 okay konbanwa and just like konnichiwa you can use konbanwa to pretty much anyone your friends um, your teachers there are no polite or casual ways to say this it's just Konbanwa. There's only one form. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Do you want to repeat after me? Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Very good. Okay. So, next, I would like to teach you how to say goodbye in Japanese. And it's sayonara. Sayonara. Okay. Okay. There we go. So it's sayonara, 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 and it means goodbye. Sayonara, sayonara. But actually, you can drop this u sound completely, and it still means the same thing. Sayonara. And sayonara, they both mean the same thing. They both mean goodbye. So you can use both of them. Okay, so let's begin with the longer version. <laughs> sayonara, repeat after me. Very good. Once again, sayonara. Good. And the shorter version. Sayonara. Good. Sayonara. Very well done. Okay. Now, I want to teach you how to say see you again. Okay? This one's gonna be pretty long, so.
Okay. So, see you again in Japanese. It's またお会いしましょう。またお会いしましょう。And I actually use this quite often、uh, in the end of my videos. またお会いしましょう。Okay, so it's また which means again. お会いしましょう。またお会いしましょう。またお会いしましょう。Okay, it's pretty long, but do you want to repeat after me? またお会いしましょう。Good, good. Try once again. またお会いしましょう。Very well done. And I know that it is quite long, and there's a shorter version to it. You can actually omit this last part and just say mata, mata, which literally means again, but this is an abbreviation for see you again. So just say mata, mata, but personally. I would put this ne at the very end. Mata ne. Mata ne. And this ne. This is in Japanese grammar.、Um, is something called. Ending particle, and I don't think you have this in English, but this ending particle it does not mean anything, but it is simply there to, in this case, make the phrase sound more friendly or sort of it softens the tone of the phrase, if that makes sense. So, I Personally, like to put ne in the end. Mata ne. Mata ne. But it means see you again. Okay? So, do you want to try mata ne? Okay? So, repeat after me. Mata ne. Good. Mata ne. Very good. Okay. So, the next thing I want to teach you is how to say. Thank you in Japanese. Very important. And you might already know this one, but it's Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, Arigato gozaimashita. Okay, let me write it down for you. Go. I'm sorry, my handwriting is not that neat. But so the first one is Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. And the next one, the second one is ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。So up until here, they both this, they're both the same, but the end, 
the ends are different. Okay? And arigato gozaimasu. This one is present tense. And arigato gozaimashita. The second one, it's past tense. But to be honest, even I, a Japanese person, get this mixed up quite often. So you actually、um, don't have to think too much about this. You can use both in any situations. But just to give you an example, say if someone takes you out for a dinner. Before that dinner actually starts, you might want to thank that person for taking you out for a dinner. You would say, Thank you for taking me out. You want to use arigato gozaimasu, the present tense thank you, because that dinner is still going on. So you would say, Arigato gozaimasu. Get it? But if you want to thank that person at the very end of the dinner, you might want to say, Arigato gozaimashita. The past tense, thank you. Arigato gozaimashita. Okay? But again, it's okay to mix the two up. Nobody really cares. It's okay. And to make these more simple, and you might have already guessed, you can actually omit the last half of the phrase and simply say, Arigato. Arigato. But remember that. Gozaimasu or gozaimashita is there to make the phrase more polite. So you should use the casual form arigato to your friends, your family, someone that is close to you. And I would recommend if you want to say thank you to.、Um, Maybe someone at a restaurant or someone that helped you out on the street. You want to be polite to them, so you should use either Arigato gozaimasu or Arigato gozaimashita. Okay, now I want you to repeat after me. Let's do the present tense polite version. Arigato gozaimasu. Go on. Very good. Let's do it again. Arigato gozaimasu. Very good. Let's do the polite version in past tense. Arigato gozaimashita. Okay. Arigato gozaimashita. Good. And the last one, the casual version. Arigato. Go on. Good. Arigato. Very good. And when someone says thank you to you, you want to say you're welcome. And you're welcome in Japanese, it's どういたしまして。どういたしまして。Okay, let me write it down for you.
けどういたしまして。どういたしまして。どういたしまして。どういたしまして。And it means you're welcome. Okay? So do you want to repeat after me? どういたしまして。Go on. Good. どういたしまして。Very good. Well done. So that is it for today's lesson. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed it. I am not sure if there's going to be another lesson, but we'll see. Okay? So I will see you in my next video. Or I want to say this in Japanese. ありがとうございました。またお会いしましょう。